about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know my channel so today is not going to be an official autumn summer to autumn transitional video which I know some of you have been asking for but it's my version of an autumn no summer autumn transition because you know I have like an autumn coat here some jackets some boots but then I've also got some like bright summer dresses and bikinis which are not transitional at all but for me I travel all year round in a couple of weeks I'm going to Aruba so I had to get, I had to of course, get a few bits for that. So those of you that travel all year round and you're looking for go-to websites, like I know ASOS is the perfect place to get bikini stuff all year round, but for me, I still love ASOS, but I discovered a few other brands where you can get beach stuff all year round and it's pretty much my favourite website for all year round beach stuff, so I thought that was going to be quite handy to tell you that as well. Just checking. Um, so one thing that you can see from the thumbnail is this is not only a haul but it's a three Chanel reveal. I, that this could be a whole video in itself and I'm well aware of that but I was too excited to just show you all of this stuff. So I didn't vlog the Chanel shopping for those of you that asked me on Instagram but I'm going to show you all of it here and I guess let's just get into it. I've also got a few of my favourite things in the corner and that's because a lot of you have been asking me on Instagram stories questions and I definitely want to include stuff that I love so it's a bit of a random video, but I think it's going to be a good one. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing, so I'm going to start off with these Chanel reveals because it's really exciting. I don't really know what happened. I went to London yesterday for a meeting. It was to discuss, like, um, meeting stuff, but then also Nette Porte took me for a manicure and pedicure. Look at this colour, amazing. Um, took me for a mani and pedi, which is really nice of them, and then they threw a bombshell on me and gave me the best surprise ever, which I'm going to show you. And then I just went to Chanel. Actually, it's my friend's fault because she wanted me to get her a bag, which is one of the bags down here, which is not mine. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's start with the first bag. And normally I sit down, but I'm just going to stand. Same thing. Okay, so I'm not going to open my friend's because I don't want to ruin her, you know, special bow and undo the sticker, but I am going to... Let me tell you about that first. I know I'm scatty, I try not to be, but it's just how I am. If it makes you, I just can't help it. So this is my bag. This is my, probably my number one bag that I own. I absolutely adore it. It's the Chanel Caviar Skin Classic Flap in the large size. Absolutely divine. I've had it about two years. I love it so much. And one of my friends, I got this from Miami. Somebody got it for me. And I've never seen it in England. I've never seen a grey classic flap until the other day. One of my followers sent me a, a DM saying, I've just got your, your grey classic flap. I'm so excited. So I straight away text my friend. I said, it's back. Like We've been looking for this for two years. And I know so many of you are also asking about this bag. And it's why I'm including this whole thing. If you want this bag, it's in this season. However, I'm going to put a picture here. It is slightly darker, but for me, it's still the most perfect tone of grey. Like this and the shade darker are my favourite greys. Everything else is the same, exactly the same. And you'll see from the photo the, the difference in the tone of grey. It's 3,990. And basically, if for all of you that want this bag and ask me to sell it, just go to Chanel and get one because it's now or never, I think. So that's that one. Now, you see? So these I saw, I think, I mean, I think, I think, yeah. I saw these in Cannes and uh, I wasn't looking for anything at all. And I saw these and I thought, I just have to get them. And they didn't even have my size, so I had to get them in London. So here they are completely random purchase but I do always have my eye out for certain things here they are they are just grey classic pumps 
with like a cotton silk heel and I'm using the word cotton silk because it's my second year anniversary and two years uh, wedding anniversary is cotton so this was my anniversary present to myself and they have the Gabrielle Chanel see that? Gabrielle Chanel Gabrielle Chanel Coco and then the CC logo here they're the perfect size uh, per perfect perfect heel height and I always wear grey and I, as much as I love the slingbacks, they're too feminine for me. So I said to myself, as soon as they do the, the grey pump, I'm going to get them. So it was a bit of an extravagant purchase. They were £530 and they come in black and beige with a black toe cap and I love them. I absolutely love them. I just think they look really good with like jeans and a white t-shirt. So that's the first Chanel reveal. This one. Gosh, this is heavy. Oh, I've got some... Harrods water in there, that's why. The next one, this was a bit of a greedy purchase on my part because it was, let me just show you, I'm trying to make excuses for myself. And by the way, this is an extravagant thing for me, like I was walking around with all these Chanel bags thinking, people literally coming up to me saying, you've had a good day. I was really embarrassed, I was like, yeah. So this is why I don't want to open my friends. I know if, if I ask her, she'll say, yeah, go ahead, open it, but I can't give her back to her like that, can I? Hopefully you're happy with the picture. So, oh, I always get this nervous itch when I'm filming. So the next thing that I bought are these Chanel booties. So I have a thing for Chanel boots. When they get it right, they get it so good. And I was on the hunt for practically this pair with a chunky um, heel because I already have a pair of flat pair like this um, but they were just too good to miss like they have the pearl popper here and like when I put them on they just look oh I just had to have them and I always love their shoes but sometimes they do a collection where I just have to get something and this was a really extravagant thing for me to buy because they were I think they were 1,160, something like that. But I just know I'm going to live in them. I always wear girly dresses with these kind of boots. As much as I would love a heel, which I am still on the lookout for some next season, I will wear these more. These are like my go- I always wear biker boots. So that's the second reveal. They are lovely, aren't they? And I'm not into painting, and these are a little bit painting, but they're not too shiny. And I just love this bit. I absolutely love them. So that's the second. And then I have one more. This was a complete random thing. I just saw it and thought I love it. And if you've watched um, my hauls before, I can't remember which one I said it in. I think I said it in my handbag haul that um, Chanel have this weird thing where it's one season expensive, one season not, and vice versa. And this season, um, things are a bit of bit affordable like in terms of Chanel pricing so I thought I'd go and have a look at the jewellery just in case something caught my eye and I saw this I am strict with myself I always see lovely things and I don't just randomly buy it I have to really it has to make my heart skip a beat where I just go and buy it and I don't need to text any of my friends saying which one should I get this so that's my top tip when you're buying something luxury. If you have to text your sister or your friend or your boyfriend, don't get it. Because if you're not like, oh, I need to get it, then don't. Oh, it's so nice. So I bought a Pearl Star pendant. And this was £240, which of course is expensive. But for a Chanel necklace, I thought it was really reasonable. And Paris happened to text me at, at the time. And I thought, oh, it's the perfect present for my anniversary. Because he didn't get me anything for my anniversary. And he didn't get me anything last year. So, And I was going to ask him for the shoes, but I was being all diva. And being like, no, I'm going to get it myself. So I got it myself. And then he texted me and I thought it was meant to be. So this is actually my anniversary present from Paris. And I think jewellery is really special because I can wear it every day and it's really dainty. So that's my third thing to show you. And they had the matching bracelet, which I'm still thinking about. But yeah, that's my third thing. Ten minutes, not bad, not bad for three Chanel reveals. Next thing I'm going to talk to you about is this blusher. So if you read Look Magazine this week, I'm actually in there talking about 
this is going to reflect the ring light, but it's the Creme de la Mer blusher. Oh my god, even if you walk past like a Debenhams or something, can you see this, or a John Lewis, smell it. It has the, the La Mer skincare smell, but this is the best bronzer I've ever used. It's like flawless, I absolutely love it. And when Look Magazine asked me to pick my favourite beauty product this month, this is what I said, so it's in there all what I said about it. It is expensive, but you get a really big um, palette, you get the highlighter. It's so flawless and amazing, so that's like my favourite beauty product at the moment. Next, I wanted to talk to you about these. Um, I mentioned it in a vlog, which I haven't shown you yet, but when I did my boomerang, I'll put the picture here, you're going to see the dress. No, when you, I show you the grey dress, you'll see. So I put up a picture on my Instagram stories of me in a grey dress, and everybody was saying, oh, you look like you've lost weight. And I said, well, I, I'm not sure I have, but I feel a lot more comfortable. And this has been the answer. This uh, Protein World is a product that I bought myself. I went on there. I was testing out a few proteins. I've been tweeting for the last few months for my followers to recommend a protein for me. And I've used quite a few. I started off just using them for my shakes in the morning because I'm always on the go and I use the powder, but you know, that's just the standard powder. Then I've got the pancakes um, and now I am working with Protein World, but I found them all by myself, bought it, tested it myself to see how I feel because I would never tell you this is amazing when it's not because then you'll never come back to me again. But these pancakes are like American fluffy pancakes. You literally put this in the shaker with water or milk, put it on the pan for 30 to 50 seconds I think it is, and then you get protein pancakes. I've had this every morning. I had them every morning in camp because I took a pot with me. If not, I've been, look how much I've had. If not, I have the chocolate porridge. And it's been, and it's like chai and flax. Um, and it's just been so easy for me because I started to get into a routine where I wasn't having breakfast. And I'm allergic to so many things. I'm allergic to dairy. I was getting bored of having the same thing. And I thought, right, I need to stop this. And for those of you that have been saying that I look better than normal, I think it's just because I've stopped snacking and I can't recommend these enough. I've also been using their... There's so many things that they offer on there. I've also been using their coconut oil. And I've been using that for my hair. It's made it really lovely and soft. And I also have been using it for cuticle. Um, like nourisher because I went to Cannes and forgot my cuticle oil so I've been using that. Okay before we go into the clothes I have to show you my next porte surprise. So I told you that I got my nails done with them yesterday. It was really sweet of them to take me to get my nails done for um, celebrating 100k on Instagram. Um, I did say a thank you on Instagram and I literally couldn't believe it. I was at the airport when it happened and it's just like a milestone really. So thank you for everyone that supported me and sent me lovely messages. Some of you I know you have followed me from the beginning. So thank you. I don't want to get too gushy, but I do really appreciate it. And I was really excited to reach 100k because that's a lot of people. But anyway, we were getting our nails done and they said to me, oh, we've got a present for you. And they, they've done that before and it's been like a box this size of like beauty products, which has been so exciting. They once did that with my all those by Terry bits that I had. That was all from them. And I still use them now. And it's a really amazing gift that if they ever did that again, I'd be so happy. So I thought, I just presumed it was beauty. And then I saw this. So that's really bright, but it's an Aquazora box. It's a really lovely box. I'm definitely going to keep this one. So even when I saw Aquazora, I thought they've either used the box and it's not a pair of shoes. Or maybe Aquazora are doing beauty and I didn't know. I just, I just thought it was beauty. And then, I'm going to show you what I saw first. That was all I saw. I just saw black and I saw pearls and I, I didn't even know what that was. I, it could have been gloves for all I knew. And I was like, I think I said, oh my God, really loudly in the nail salon. These are sensational. What to the raging hell. I personally have never seen these before. You put them down. So I couldn't believe it. It's very rare that some that I I basically have I don't remember ever being given a gift that it's something that I've one never seen before, 
Two, loved so much that I would have bought this myself. And three, that it's just, how, like, how amazing are these? It was such a shock because it's not even like I've seen them on the runway. I've never seen them in on Instagram, on the website. They're, it's Saturday today and they're still not being dropped online. I think tomorrow when you're watching this, it's going to be online. If it's not online, it will be on there tomorrow. So I think they might go soon. I'm a size 39 and these were a 40 and fit me perfectly. I've never got a size 40 in shoes in my life, but these run super small. So go a size up. They've got like the pineapple on the on the sole. They're just oh look at them. Look at them. I literally I couldn't believe it. I can't believe this is like the best surprise I've ever had. So this was a lovely gift for them to celebrate me being a hundred K. I'm so grateful. They're so lovely. I can't wait to wear them in the winter and I've ordered something myself from the Tepulte that's coming in a few days and this is going to go perfect so stay tuned for me wearing these but you can see on they just look absolutely like lush that's the only word for them so let, now let's get into the clothes <sighs> they're so nice aren't they nice what should we look at now I'm going to go for my Louise Viroma um, delivery that I had so let's start with this this is the Valentino Spike Leather Shoulder Bag. Yeah, that's what it says. So I got this in baby blue because I absolutely love baby blue. Um, I really, really like it, but the day before it arrived, I saw another baby blue bag that I wanted, but they've never done it in baby blue before, what I've seen. And I always used to say to myself, well, I really want this bag if it came in baby blue and it never did, so I went for this, and then all of a sudden they happened to bring it out. So I think I'm gonna send this back, but I'm still gonna show you it because I think it's really lovely. Um, so I think I'm gonna order that baby blue bag, and the reason why it's a really easy decision for me is when I bought this, I spent about two weeks deciding between this and another one that's completely different. So it was a really easy decision that I'm gonna go for the other one because it's a completely different color, and then I'm gonna get the baby blue one. That's gonna be here within the next couple of days, um, and I think I'm not going to reveal it on YouTube, I'm just going to do like an Instagram story reveal and I always do that, sometimes I don't show things on YouTube so make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm always doing Instagram hauls like the grey dress I'm going to show you, I think it's sold out by now but I did an Instagram story and it's, I can't believe how many of you bought that dress so I think it's already gone, so if you want to get the first things then follow me on there the next thing that I got from Louise Viaroma is this Max Mara coat. I have wanted a pink coat for a while and I have always wanted to have a Max Mara coat. It's like their thing. Their Max Mara, their Max Mara are like kill coats. They do it, I mean I shouldn't really have it on with this huge dress but um, I just think it's the perfect colour for it's like that perfect dusky baby pink it's the perfect coat from like summer to autumn because it's going to be nice and warm and it's like soft and fleecy but it's also not going to be too hot like the winter coats that I already have are way too hot for me to wear um, you know when it just starts getting a bit cold I don't want to wear my big acne aviator which reminds me actually but the acne aviator, we'll talk about that at the end because it's very important. So uh, I thought this was the perfect colour, it's a still nice summery, the perfect autumn weight and thickness and I, I wear so much grey, so much denim and I can just imagine this with like a denim shirt, denim jeans. It came in baby blue and camel I think but I'll leave the link to it below and it also comes with the tie as well. The next thing, I'm literally surrounded by Chanel boxes here. The next thing is this Balenciaga denim jacket. This was a surprise from Louise of Yaroma, which was so nice of them. They did know that I wanted it. They know that I love Balenciaga. Um, but Balenciaga has only just dropped on Louise of Yaroma alongside Zimmerman. Um, and there's one more that they just got. But I know that Zimmerman and Balenciaga has just landed there. This sold out in a 36 in one day. I could have 100% got away with the 34, 
So definitely, I would say you can go two sizes down. It is absolutely huge. Luckily, I love wearing oversized things and it's totally my style. And I do have the Balenciaga jacket with the huge um, shoulders, which is still available online as well. But this, I just loved it. I just had to have it. I wear so much denim. And this has been on my mind for a long time. So when I, had, when I got the box delivered, I couldn't quite believe it. I'm just going to wear this all year round. I'll wear it travelling. I just think everyone needs a denim jacket in their wardrobe. But I just love the colour wash of this. I love the fit of Balenciaga jackets. It's perfect. The shape, the colour, everything is perfect. I love it. I absolutely love it. Next thing. I think I'm just going to go in order. Next we have this lace. Um, jacket is so beautiful I'm not going to try this one on because it's been all over my Instagram stories and there's a couple of pictures already on my Instagram so you can see it perfectly there and see the detail here this is from a brand Dolls House Fashion which is made in Manchester all made in house I've spoken about this brand so many times you get the little high waisted shorts with it one thing I would say about this brand I'm I'm a size 8 to 10 and, I, and I'm 5 foot 6 and I wear the medium in Doll's House fashion. I think they come up small, personally. I have a couple of friends who buy size 6s and extra smalls and they're still not fitted enough for them. So if you're one of these girls where you really need small fitted clothes, you really should check out Doll's House fashion because they're extremely fitted. And then if you're like me, I would say I'm a normal size. I'm an 8 to 10, go for a medium. But they're really good on exchanges and really responsive on Instagram and everything. So I've got that. I wore that to Bailey in Cannes. So many women asking me where I got that from. Next, oh, I'll show you this because it's also Doll's, Doll's House fashion. This is a red play suit. It's really heavy. And it's got these pom-poms. The fabrics and the fastenings that Doll's House Fashion use are really, really good. So I just thought that this was really unique. And I did buy it. Um, and I did order this to go to Cannes, but I just didn't have time to wear it. So I'll take that to Aruba, I think. I think it's really, really nice. And the lace is kind of like a pinky. It's not white. It's like a really off-white pink. That I also got in a medium. Uh, next I have this off the shoulder top. I'm also not going to try this on because it's all over my Instagram um, and it's also going to be in my South of France can vlog. Both of them will be. So I love the exaggerated frill. This is from a brand called Francesca Couture which is made in-house in Liverpool. A brand I've spoken about lots of times. Quality is really good. This is a size small. Their sizes are true to size and they make everything in-house with limited fabric so you can't you can only buy this until the fabric is the, when the fabric runs out you can't get it basically but if they do run out and you ask them that you want this in another fabric they'll do it for you next I have this love shack fancy dress this is I had to get a size medium in this and I do think that they are generous. The size small fits me perfectly, um, but they didn't have any size smalls left. The extra small fits me better than the medium, but these dresses go up at the front and it was just way too short for me. I felt too uncomfortable. So I would prefer to have the medium and you'll see when I try it on, it looks fine. Yeah, I feel fine in it. Worst case, I might put it in a hot wash and shrink it. But even as the medium, I don't mind. I've got this in black, which I'll show you a picture here, and I've worn it to death. I absolutely love it. I wear it with biker boots, I've worn it with strappy heels, I've worn it with sliders and a leather jacket, I wore it to the Dior then, um, and I just loved the shape of it. I loved this detail. I love it that you can undo this and wear it off the shoulder. I am a huge fan of Love Shack Fancy. And I got this from Beach Cafe. And Beach Cafe, am I too far? Beach Cafe is my go-to website for all year round holiday stuff. I get the delivery the next day, The every time I ask them a question, they answer me. And they have the latest stuff all the time. They're Love Shack Fancy. I think they have the best stock of Love Shack, Love Shack Fancy. And um, 
it's an American brand, so you have to pay customs if you buy it anywhere else. So there are a few online stockists in England, but Beach Cafe is my go-to for Love Shack Fancy. I think I got my words modelled up just then. This dress is by Lisa Marie Ferdinand's, another brand that I love. I wore a long navy blue one in Ibiza. And I saw this one and I was choosing between the two and after the whole summer of thinking of this, when I booked Aruba, I had to have it. This is quite an expensive one, but it's very dramatic. Like you can see how heavy the fabric is. All of this is embroidered. It's a really wow dress. And when you move and even when you're like just doing your hair like this, it's just so amazing. And you can wear it without the tie. And not that I'm pregnant, I'm definitely not hinting to everyone, I'm just considering for anyone else that's pregnant. If you're pregnant, this is an ideal dress because it's kind of got so much fabric that you probably wouldn't even be able to tell that you're pregnant. So definitely the perfect summer dress for if you're pregnant. Next I have... This is a real mix by the way, it's like obviously I've gone from Chanel, Max Mara, Valentino, Balenciaga... Um, handmade items from from England to really low end high street and that's just my style I do tend to go more for higher end we don't have to call it luxury but I just like the feel and the fit but if I see something fun that I love I would not hesitate the fabric is obviously not going to be as nice but when it's just something that's a bit fun and I don't want to spend £200 plus on then I'm more than happy to pay for um, something that's £10 and be happy with it basically. So this is a blouse that I got from Pretty Little Thing. I ordered it, I'm not sure if this is still in the sale because I ordered this for South of France and I took all of these with me but I, I spent all the time on the beach in a bikini or in the room working and I didn't actually wear 90% of my stuff. But I bought this to wear with some denim shorts for the evening. I love how dramatic and over the top it is. And I often just want to wear jeans and a nice top. And I'll say it over and over again that I never have enough nice tops. So when I see one, I just put it in. I just get it, put it in my wardrobe and keep it there for something. Like next week we have Lydia's hen. And we're all talking about what dresses we're going to wear and everyone's on the WhatsApp like, oh my God, I don't know, I've got to get a dress and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I've got a dress. Like, it's my dress rule. But if I see a nice dress, I buy it. I put it away. I do not care if it's three seasons old. I don't care if everyone wore it. I do not care. If I have a dress that I love, I'll put it away. And if it's really old, at least no one's going to wear it. So I swear by that rule. And now for Lydia's hen, I literally have more than enough options for the day, for the evening, and I'm not panicked, I'm not stressed. So bear that more in mind. This is the dress that's been all, all over my Instagram. I love this dress. This was in the sale for £10. I absolutely love the colour. I love tea dresses, I love wrap dresses. I think they're flattering on busty girls, curvy girls, slim girls, short girls, tall girls. I think everybody looks good in a tea dress or a wrap dress. And I wore this my typical way with chunky Chanel boots, um, grey bag, grey CDC. I was like Miss Grey, but I loved it. I'm not sure if there's any left because I know that quite a few got sold. And this is the dress that I got so many lovely comments from saying, oh, you've lost weight, you look really good. And it's honestly that I've just stopped snacking and I'm having a good bulky breakfast in the morning. This is another pretty little thin dress that I got. I bought this as my anniversary dress to go to Bailey, but um, I ended up feeling really snazzy and wearing the Doll's House fashion one. So this was £28, I think. And when I put it on, like this grey one feels like a cheaper dress. This one doesn't. This like this does the job and I absolutely love it. I'm so happy with it. But this one feels more comfortable to wear. And you'll see from me trying it on that it looks, it just looks so good. It's like the perfect black dress. You can wear this out in the evening. You can wear this like, I think this will look really good with a pair of sneakers. I'm not a dress sneaker girl. But I just thought that this would look good with sneakers, biker boots. And I also got this in white as well. I left it in cam because I just thought it was the perfect white dress to wear and leave there for when I go there again. The last dress I have... No, 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 I have one more. 
This dress I got, um, I did, they just had really good tea dresses at the moment and I just thought it was perfect to just shove a load of tea dresses in for holiday. I'm not a floral print girl, I have one Zimmerman floral print and that was enough for me but I just got this because I couldn't resist this grey colour and I have a baby pink bag. It was basically any bag that I have would look really good with this, red, grey, pink, baby blue and the fit is amazing, it's really really soft, like I'm... Um, 110% sure that this is polyester. Yeah, it's visco. Um, but it feels really soft and really nice to wear. The last dress that I have from Petty Little Thing is the same as the grey, but yellow, and it's got a slight, slightly shorter sleeve. Um, if I wasn't going to can, I wouldn't have bought this because it is very summery and too hot for a rubber, I think. But I did have it in mind for can. Um, and if I don't wear it, I'll just keep it till next summer. Next dress I have is a red one from Stay Sunny Chicago. If you, oh no, I haven't done my grease vlog yet. Oh my god. Well, if you follow me on Instagram, I had two long lace dresses from there. I'll leave a picture here of one of them. And it was just a brand I discovered. It's an English brand, like really small up and coming. Got that itch again. And um, I love a, I love a red dress. So. The strap goes on the shoulder and these little frilly bits go um, around the arm, which is a must for me if I ever wear a strappy dress because I'm really conscious of the top of my arms and this kind of deflects away from that. So it was just the perfect red dress. I wore this in can actually with some sliders. This fabric at the bottom is different to the body and it's a really nice pretty dress. Look nice with a denim jacket and nude sliders, that's how I wore it. Then I have a uh, banana leaf blouse from El Bell Attire. I think that's I think that's what it's called. This I discovered this um, store on Instagram about a year ago, and I have what did I have once? Um, I think I just had like a blouse from there that I really liked. And again, if you follow me on Instagram, I went to the cinema in Monaco and I wore the most beautiful baby pink top from them. I'll put the picture here. We bumped into the perfect sunset, it was not filtered at all, you'll see when I do my cam vlog, it will look exactly the same. You have to get that top, it, it's so sensational. Um, I also got this, if you watched my New York fashion vlog from last season in September, I had the dress version of this from Dolce & Gabbana, it was a shoot that I did for net porte I didn't get to keep it, it was really expensive, I think it was like £3,000. And I really loved it and I thought that the green looked really flattering on me. I saw this and thought I love the Dolce one so much, I'm going to have to get this. And it also comes with some loose, kind of like elasticated trousers. So that's that one. The last two things that I have to show you are bikinis. So the first one is this one by... Hansa G. So I discovered this on Beach Cafe. It's a new brand of theirs. As soon as this came through the door, I tried it on and while still having it on, I ordered the lemon one. This is probably one of my favourite bikinis I've ever had. In terms of a designer bikini, it's a very good price. It's £120. If you want to compare that to your average bikini that you buy in ASOS, yeah, you could probably get 20 bikinis or at least 10 bikinis for that price. So it depends what you like. I normally get a few high street ones that if I mess them up, I don't mind. And then if I'm doing something special, I can go to a beach party or maybe want to take some photos. This, I normally have one or two luxury ones and I keep them forever and ever. Like I have an Adrian Provocateur one that I've had for five years. I still love it. I, it's still my go-to nice swimsuit. So the reason why I got this is because, well, it reminds me of like the 80s. It's like this ribbed fabric. And I thought it was going to be quite flattering on the bum. I was worried about the one size fits all, but they've got it spot on. If you're smaller than me, it will fit you. If you, I've got actually got, I wouldn't say the biggest bum, but I've got a bit of a bum on me and I just find it so flattering and even if your bum's bigger, I can see that it's going to fit someone bigger than me as well, especially because this is stretchy. The top, the bandeau top, I love this and this is how I like to sunbathe, which is why I bought this. I always sunbathe in a bardo top, but don't own one nice one. So this was why I got this because now I can 
say that I own or feel that I have a nice one to sunbathe in. So the bando is not the most flattering for me. I'm a 32 double D and I find that I could use a bit more support, but that's not the point. I wanted one that I felt comfortable, um, that was nice enough to sunbathe in basically, and it's fine. It's one of the best bikinis I've ever had. I can't wait for the lemon one to get here. The next one I have is this one by LC Clothing. It's a brand made in the UK. Really sweet girl that is the designer of this brand. And I think about a year ago I got some lace um, bras and bodies from her. I really love the brand. Like They're really well made. You get really beautiful underwear for the price that, that they're selling them for. Oh, that is not very pleasant, is it? The way that I've held that. And uh, now, now they sell bikinis. So as soon as I saw this one, I had to have it because I love star print. And I really like it that she's done something a bit more interesting than just a triangle. It's got this lovely frill. I went for a size medium. This medium? Yeah, medium because I wanted the bigger top. But I do feel like the knickers are a bit too big for me. I'm actually going to ask her if, she, if I can have a small and if she sells them separately. But because they're a tie... It's pretty uh, flexible because you can always tie them up smaller or bigger. So um, I think these are about £60 as well. So not the cheapest, but I was happy with that price. So that's the end of the haul. Sorry if it wasn't the exact summer to autumn transition video that you were hoping for. That's not what this is. It's definitely coming, but I hope that anyone that's going on holiday, this was helpful. Let me know what your favourite thing was. Let me know if there's anything that you want to know more about. Um, what else do I need to say? Yep, follow me on Instagram because I'll be wearing all of these summer bits in Aruba and the Chanel biker boots and the Balenciaga jacket. I'm definitely going to be wearing that as of tomorrow because it's definitely that kind of weather in London now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I've been holding that hiccup in the whole time.